Ash, and we are still talking online dating. So, we already talked about being specific concerning exactly what we want. Now listen, call after the second or third email, after you've already talked back and forth a couple times with an email, it's time to take the real temperature. Let's just see what this person's like. Let's see if there's some real interaction or good dialogue. You'll be able to take their temperature and see if it begins to feel like you're pulling teeth, probably time to move on. Hey, I have an exciting fact for you. Did you know that when you send that little wink, the you know, little guy that does the wink, that really means I don't have time to read your profile. It's not really interesting enough to me. And besides, I'm just a little too lazy. That's really what it means. So be careful sending that. Not only that, go with your gut. If it feels right, then go for it. Don't date someone that's male or female, lady or, or gentleman. Don't date someone who's married. When they're married or with someone, warning, that means they are not available. So why are you spending your time, or shall I say, wasting your time with someone who's not available? Let me tell you something. Also, when you're talking with people, hey, it's nothing wrong with Googling someone. One lady told me that she followed her gut and she Googled the guy that she began to get close to. And guess what she found out? This man was wanted in another state for murder. And that is indeed no laughing matter, but a factual one. So everybody's been wanting to hear what my experience was like. Let me tell you, or at least I'll give you a little snippet. It was quite interesting on various levels. I met people from all walks of life, some of it very interesting, exciting, quite intriguing, where on other ends it was rather contrarily draining. Yet at the same time, I wouldn't take anything from my journey now. And I have to give you the bad news. No Boaz, no love connection, but all hope is not lost. Let me leave you with a few staggering facts. We know that one in five relationships develop online. There are over 40 different websites, but there's five that made the list for 2012. So let me tell you what they are. Match.com, PerfectMatch.com, Spark.com, and for the marriage-minded single, yeah, that's you out there, Chemistry.com, and eHarmony.com is the direction for you. Now, before we leave, I want to leave you with some thoughts to, or just something to think about. We all know and have heard from our aunts and so many others that beauty truly is in the eye of the beholder. But all of us want to know what we will specifically behold in. Be yourself. Just be who you are right where you are, which is what we talk about here on Camille's Couch. And then you will attract who you are. I know, that's something to think about. We are who we attract. Look for us on Facebook. Like us, why don't you? Follow us on Twitter. And you know what? We have Camille'sCouch.com blog is up and going right now. We want to hear from you. Tell us what you think. Tell us what this show has meant to you tonight. Tell us what you're thinking about. Tell us what we ought to talk about next. What is the pressing subject on the hearts of our viewers, on the hearts of our listeners. We care and want to hear from you. Remember, before you leave us, be who you are, right where you are, and when it's all said and done, what's shared here on the couch, it's going to stay right here on the couch. I'm your girl, Camille Nash, and we'll see you next time.